All right, legends, welcome back to another video. What does a cycling commentator and a podcaster or an interviewing podcaster take with them when they go to an event? I thought I'd make this video, show you all of my kit that I've got just here and what I bring with me when I go to international bike races, when I go to national bike races to commentate or uh, do make podcasts and that sort of thing. It's actually quite a lot of stuff. You might be surprised. So um, before we get into that, I also want to give you guys a bit of an update, okay? If you don't know already, outside of the podcast, the Pressure Room Podcast presented by Zwift, make sure you go and listen to some episodes if you haven't already. But outside of that, I actually am a cycling commentator. So yeah, I. Yes, but Brian Stone trying to close the gap. Super fast, Brian. And here comes Brian. He's going to get in the wheel of Adrian. Does Adrian have enough? But Stevie's been waiting in the wings. And here he goes up the inside. Stevie, but Brian's coming on the other side. And Stevie's going to come around, Brian. Try to be, I guess, like your Matthew Keenan, you know, calling the biggest bike races in the world. And I've got my biggest opportunity is coming up in January. Um, and it's just going to snowball from there. But so far this year, I obviously, I obviously do, obviously, I obviously do everything here in WA. I do the club crits, the state crits, I do the gravel racing, I do everything. You name it, I call it. I even call the WA rugby here. Um, or Rugby WA competition um, as well. Takes on one tackle, gets his hands free to Para. Who's he got on his right hand side? It is the man he scored a try earlier. Sawyer's the big man, unstoppable. Is he over the line? Grubbling, and he's over. What a try from the two time try scorer in this first half. Mr. Man on YouTube as well. But uh, I do all of that and I also go around. Uh, over east doing um, any bike races that'll take me. So I'm um, heading over to Dirty Warning in two weeks' time. Been in the Gravelista earlier this year, covering all the gravel races. And uh, yeah, next year I've got some even bigger races to get to. So um, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. That's what I'm doing, that's what I'm chasing. And I might make some more videos along the way. But time to get into our kit and all this stuff that I've got and um, show what I bring. Okay, so when I'm going to races, whether I'm riding out to a club crit to call it or I'm traveling uh, to the World Championships or going to Gravelista or gravel races, anything, okay, you need to have a nice sort of bag to carry everything in. Okay, now the best bags out there are Tule. Um, I've had a Tule bag given for, my, for Christmas for like oh, six years, but I just got a new one. You guys would know if you listen to the podcast, it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago and I was very, very kindly gifted a brand new Tule bag, okay? Brand new, this one is like the updated model that's specifically made to sort of, um, you know, cover cameras, you know, sort of carry cameras and that sort of stuff. You know, you can see in here, it's got sort of the hard case separators for all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, really deep pockets in here as well. You can't really see that, but yeah, really deep. It's just got something for everything, okay? So that's the bag that holds, okay. So the main event, right, all my recording equipment. It's in this box, okay? This is the GoPro box. So when you buy a GoPro Hero 11, 10, whatever, you get it in this box. So pretty cool, but the GoPro units aren't really that good. Um, they, ah, this hardware is not so good, but the case, very nice. So $500 case right here. First things first, this is what I brought with me to Worlds, okay? so. This is a digital recorder, okay? This is like your old school podcasting interviewing stuff. Uh, you might remember if you saw a, um, I don't know, if you saw an interview on TV like 20 years ago. You know, the reporters would be sticking this in your face. So there's a microphone here and here, capturing left and right sound. It's pretty average, like it's just for basic, you would record and then you'd, you know, then you might type up the note, you know, type up the transcript or something. But well, I'm not doing that for podcasting, okay? This thing here, I use in conjunction with this. Now you might have seen these, uh, the, these are popping up everywhere on YouTube, podcasters, news channels, use these, okay? It's called the Rode Wireless Go. It's the best bit of kit I've ever been introduced to, thanks to Katie Bates who actually told me about these. I went and bought them straight away. I think her husband works for Channel 9 or something and he said that um, these are being used uh, you know, on the news just because they're so good. So. This is, these are basically um, wireless microphones that connect via Bluetooth, just incredible. So how it works is this. This one is the transmitter. You turn this on, you beauty. It then connects to your two microphones. So 
I have to connect this right to this. Why? Because this was storing, this is the storage, the hard drive, I guess, for this. So I have to buy this very special cord just here. With Rode, you have to buy proprietary cords for their products you know, aftermarket. It's quite a good bit of business because they cost a bit of money. You plug this in, right? So, what the fuck? Okay. There you go. Now I've got my recording hard drive, essentially, okay? I turn these both on, and then I just have to put them, as long as they're within 150 meters of these two microphones, they will record everything. Amazing. So, I'll put this at World Championships. I was just putting this in my bag, put it on my back or on the floor, wherever, and then... These two are my microphones. Why these are so good for, for podcasting, for capturing commentary, that sort of stuff, is because I can click this on here, and you'll notice I've got another one here, that's for the video. Um, this is connected to the, the camera that's filming this. So I have this one on, and then I give this one to the guest. And then we can just talk, you know? It's recording this on one channel, and it's recording the other person's chat on the other. And then I can put them all together, um, when I go back into the files from here. So really cool. Now, I love these. You would have seen these at Worlds and uh, these are super cool. These are the little microphone sticks. So I carry two of these. They kind of slide in like that. How cool is that? And then this little fluffy thing as well. So, you know, this kind of keeps it from being distorted. How cool. You can go, how are you going? It also works with one, so you don't have to have two microphones on all the time. You can just have this one as the main mic, and that's what I was doing at, at uh, Wollongong. I was just going, you know, Pogacha. Right here, do you have music playing in the car? Did you have any tunes banging? No, we, we were uh, all in the van, all, all six riders, and uh, we had a good time to, to come here, so it was a uh, nice, good, uh, good drive to here. Okay. And, um, sticking in their grill, so really cool. So that's the main microphone setup, okay? Obviously, um, you would notice I've got this one on too. This one is capturing the audio for this camera, which I'll show you guys what that is. That is a DJI Pocket Pro gimbal camera. It's sick, it's amazing, I'll go into that another time. Um, with the Rode microphones, okay, there's so many cords. You've got to, you've got to have three individual charging cords, um, you've got to have a special one that connects to the MacBook to actually get the data off it, okay, on this MacBook. You can see here, special cord. Um, next is like a really important bit of kit, and I used this at World Championships when I was interviewing the riders in the mix zone. In fact, Megan was holding this. She was doing a lot of filming uh, when, I was, when I was talking to the riders. But... Uh, I love, I love like, way more than the usual I do at the, at the Worlds. It's like different being on the other side of the world somehow. I'm enjoying it. But there's this thing here, okay? So this is the DJI... Uh, DJI something. It's the phone gimbal basically. So it opens up like this. Okay, you turn it on. I don't even know how to turn it on. I do, but actually, how do you turn it on? Oh, here we go. Turn it on. And this is a sick bit of kit. The phone goes in here, and it's just basically a gimbal for the phone. Really intuitive, nice design, and it just means you can get super crisp like bits of footage. Okay, the next thing that I'll bring is my big microphone. So this is if I was doing, um, well this is actually the first proper microphone that I bought. I've since got a better one, but this one's quite good just for your desktop um, podcasting. So yeah, just a nice solid mic. It's called the Blue Yeti. Nothing blue about it, but it's pretty cool. Um, nice sturdy bass. Yeah, it's just a good one. Has the cable here that connects in through here, goes to the computer, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's not bad, it's got some settings here. You can change it to like podcast mode, like multiple speakers, all that sort of stuff. But I just click it on one speaker mode. I don't really know how to use it, but it's quite good. And you know, just kind of sits here and I can go, there you go. So I always bring that as a backup. It's good to have two and it actually folds up very nicely like that. Also bring my MacBook as well. Mac user, always been Apple. I like the ecosystem. Got the little press room man there. Press room, of course, watch the fan sticker. Got it all. Prefer to use Apple, just easy. Um, yeah, man, and just, 
a whole heap of chords. So um, that's kind of the main thing and everything that I bring when I go and do podcasting over in races um, and also cycling commentary as well. I like to have things that I can record with because um, you never know when you might want to um, you know, make a bit of content.